Okay, folks, it's April 12th, 2014. I'm going to show you how I take the Y bones out of a northern pike. I just caught this fella here on the local river, 32 incher. So, first, make that cut right behind the head. Oh, he's got some green greenies coming out. And then we follow the backbone all the way down. And once you get a little pile up of uh, scales there. And I go through and just finish it right out, just like that. And we're gonna flay it off the bone just like any other fish. There's the Y bones are. Cutting through those right now. Right over the top of the uh, center of the fish there. Get his rib bones and pretty quick here. So we're just going to start cutting right through. Fin right there. chunk of meat. Okay, here's our first fillet. Usually I take this fin right here and just get it right out of there for the next one. <clears throat> okay, take your knife and clean this up. See what we're looking at here. So there's one side of the Y bones, and you can see right here is the other side. So those Y bones come in and they curve out like that. This piece here comes right down like that. So the first cut I'm going to make. Straight down. Look at those Y bones. This is a bigger fish, so they really stand out. So I'm cutting down until I feel the bone. I can almost hear it. So I am on top of the bone where it comes down and starts coming this way. Now I'm going to angle my knife and just ride right on top of those bones. And you want to lay it flat so it's riding on all the bones, just not a couple, or else you're going to cut through those bones and not have a boneless filet. Oh, 
call this the back strap or whatever you want. It's a big chunk of bone of meat. There it is. Boneless, we'll put that right in the sink. So, the next step, what I do here, here's the lateral line right here. See, it goes right down the center of the fish. I cut right on the lateral line. Slight angle, but then I start curling my knife. If I can get underneath that y bone, you can feel those bones. I got that lateral line cut, and I start angling toward the y bone. You can see my knife underneath here, going underneath the Y bone. See my knife again underneath here? Just getting right underneath there so we can get Save the most meat. So here it is. Here's the bone. Once I get down here, I just we're gonna rip it out. <clears throat> and there they are. So that is either pickle meat or junk. So now we're just gonna take this off. You can see how that spot came right out of the middle there. So we've still got a ladder line here. It's chunk on this side, chunk on that side. Try to bring this closer to the edge here. Now we're just removing the skin like any other play. This chunk here is solid meat boneless northern pike which is some of the best eat there is okay now we got it off the skin obviously now we're going to take and zipper this one more step get this lateral line out of here we're going to cut on either side of that lateral line which you can see right here this white piece and take i'm just going to pull it apart you see it zippering right off there this is all solid meat. Take the other side. Pull that apart. See that coming right off there. This very end here, I messed a little bit of lateral line. We'll just take that off with a knife. <clears throat> So there's your muddy lateral line with that every fish will have. See the dark meat in there? We don't want that. It's garbage. So there you have it. Nice big chunks of meat. Beautiful. Okay, we do the other side the same way. Like I said, I caught this fish about 15 minutes ago.
There's my little boy Willie. He's going fishing. Oh, I kind of missed a step here. Between flays. You're supposed to grab your brandy old fashioned. Take a little sip of that. <clears throat> Get you loosened up this next side here. Same thing, just like a normal fish, just hanging it off the bone. Take your time, stay right next to the top of the bones there. You can see the Y bones right in there. Cut right through them. She hasn't played a pipe in quite a while, so I'm a little rusty at it, but we're getting her. Once again, once you get down in this area here, <clears throat> you're just going to cut right through that. The bones end on the ribs. Remember, I cut that big fin off right here from the last time. Other side. And this guy has got something in his stomach. Let's check it out. See what he's eating. Probably a she, actually, but. Look at that, folks. We're going to have northern pike and frog legs. <laughs> Eating frogs, these northerners are. Okay, so there's the Y bone top right there. Let's see how I want to do this here. So we're going to take our knife, come right along the top part of those bones. Cut down. You're not cutting all the way through. It's putting good pressure, medium pressure to your you're going to feel those bones and your knife's riding right along the top of them. Now I'm hitting the bone, so that's where you turn your knife sideways and you start coming right along the top of those bones there. There they are. Oh, I cut through a couple of them right there. A couple little chunks of bone there, but they're small. Give that to my mother-in-law. Like I said, once you get down in this area, So, <clears throat> there's another big slab of meat, boneless pike. So now we got the lateral line again. We're going to cut down into that right on the lateral line. And then 
once we got our cut down, we can turn our knife at an angle, start getting underneath those Y bones. And you see our knife underneath there? See the knife right here? It's got that angle. under there getting all the meat you can off okay we're gonna cut a little farther here then pull that right out again oops I went underneath that one a little too far so, got it now. So, once you get it here, I just grab it and pull that right out of there. There it is, the Y bones. Once again, we got a pile of meat here. Get this off this near the edge here and make it a little easier. I mean, little critters. Okay. Boneless fillet. Last step. Let's get that ladder line out. Slipper that right off. Look at that. Zoop. Boneless fillet. Take the other side. I was just pulling that right apart. See that? Big junk. That one came off nice. Lateral line. A lot of people eat that. I don't. Slab of meat. There you have it, folks. That's how I fillet a northern pike to get the Y bones out. Over and out.